Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a, another garden tour and there is so much going on in the garden. So many things are growing so much bigger and yeah, let me just show you. So this is what we're working with now. We got um, more beds and all the trellises I think are up. Oh no, we're missing one more trellis back there. But these roses are just about to open. I'm so excited. So these are gonna be so pretty. Then we got the tomato trellis up last night, which was so good. And the tomatoes are doing so well. We have, I just saw, it. oh yeah. We have some blossoms already started. And this guy is the mortgage lifter. So yeah, I'm excited for these gonna be so so good uh, basil from a friend down the road is doing well these guys just really need to be tied up I didn't have a chance to tie them up last night but I'm gonna have to tie them up and then on this side I planted some sunflowers and some zinnias kind of all over so there's some zinnias, there's another sunflower. Just to be something pretty to look at, really. But yeah, they look really nice. The chamomile looks so, so good. I love the smell. They're so, they smell so sweet to me. All right, so in this first bed, we have some chives some calendula, rosemary, dill, and cilantro. Cilantro is looking so good. And then we sowed some seeds in here. Um, there's some zinnias and they just really need to be thinned out, which is fine. And then over in this bed, we have some lettuce, which is doing really good. And then a cabbage some broccoli. I'm really hoping that the brassicas do not bolt because it, it has gotten really hot here really fast. Um, it did cool down for a couple days, but now it is back to like pretty, you know, hot summer weather. So we'll see if they, if they bolt, they bolt. If they don't, then that's great for me. We have some more zinnias in here just to kind of fill out the bed and make it look really pretty. I believe there's some sunflowers as well, which will look so good. And then over here, we got some more broccoli. It's looking really good. Um, these peppers did get shocked really bad by a late cold snap, but I'm sure they'll bounce back. If they don't, we do got a whole high tunnel full of peppers. Um, I did throw in some zucchini plants here to kind of just fill in the spaces. We do have a lot of weeds growing. So weeding is a constant <laughs> thing. And then, so that was like the first three beds. They look really good. We have some cucumbers here with a beautiful trellis and I'm thinking that I'm gonna crisscross the strings so that these cucumbers can climb up it. I'm so excited for all these tomatoes cause it, I didn't have a good year yet last year with tomatoes and this year, knock on wood, it looks like it will be a good year. I got sun golds and romas, some San Marzano's, Kellogg's breakfast, mortgage lifter, Paul Robeson, and a whole bunch more. 
so excited. And then over here, we planted all these beans, which are looking so, so good. These are all the bush beans. And then we have some runners over there. And then we have some more calendula. This calendula is almost ready to open. This will look really good. I have the black knight runner beans that we planted together here. And I think they're gonna look so pretty because those beautiful runner beans have hot pink flowers, which I'm so excited for. We have some more runner beans here. And then a couple squash in here. This area is blank, so I don't know yet what I'm going to put in there. We have a couple cabbage and some broccoli. They look good so far. Keep your fingers crossed for me that they don't bolt. The lettuce is looking superb. And just a calendula over here. Hmm. Box over here. So now we have these two beds planted. We have some runner beans on this other archway trellis here, which will look lovely. I have some extra tomatoes here. There's a lot of paste tomatoes, a lot of paste tomatoes for salsa and sauce and all of those things because I can't, I need them in my life. Um, but I'm very excited to try the pink ox heart. It's a paste style tomato and I'm very excited to try it this year. But these guys bounced right back. I know in my last garden tour, uh, they were not looking so hot. Um, but I gave them some fertilizer. Same with the ones over here. And they look absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy with the results. And then just over here, I have some more runner beans. And this is pretty much a whole bed of zucchini and, and summer squash. So I'm very excited to try all the different varieties from green zucchini to yellow zucchini to yellow squash and yellow lemon squash. They will just look so, so good. They will just taste so, so good. And then through here, we'll eventually, you know, uh, put flagstone down here or some sort of gravel or mulch or something. Um, but we have a little seating area. I'm hoping to put maybe like a pergola over top. And you could have like dinner in the garden. Um, and then right here, we're gonna put another 12 foot bed and right there. So just to kind of close off this whole space. And then currently this bed is empty. This bed is empty except for the ends here where I have a few more beans. These are gonna be more for drying and storing um, and some lima beans, which I'm excited to try. Because of the heat, I really gotta stay hydrated. Fair skin people don't do well with extremely hot, sunny areas. And my property is in full sun, so wish me luck. <laughs> So this is the in-ground garden. The potatoes really, really need to be held up at this point. But these are all the potatoes that I started. They look really, really good. So the potatoes are looking superb. I'm really happy with them. I'm gonna hold them up today, which we can do in a vlog together. But I'm just gonna hold them up with straw, make it easy for myself. Now in here, this is cut so that I can put some soil in and so I can plant my melons, watermelon and all sizes of personal melons. Here we have all my onions. So we got yellow, white and red in here. They all look really good. Hoping for a good onion harvest. And then over here, we have the sprinkler on them, but this is 
the corn patch because we don't have irrigation just yet. Um, but the corn patch is just starting to come up on this side. And then on the other side, we have some beautiful sunflowers, which will look so, so lovely. You can see the corn coming up here. That looks really good. And I can see a couple throughout here and there. So I'm glad that the seeds came up. Because I don't only buy like Baker Creek or and my gardener seeds, those seeds are actually only, only from the dollar store. So super cost efficient to buy a couple packs and kind of fill out this area. We just have a sprinkler going because like I said, there's no irrigation just yet. This really helps me be able to water everything evenly and to the best that it can be. There are so many sunflowers coming up in here, so this place is going to look fabulous. And then here is like my pumpkin and winter squash patch. These are a whole bunch of really good uh, pie pumpkins. And then back over this way, there's some butternut, there's some spaghetti squash, and I believe some acorn and a few other different varieties that I haven't tried yet. So I'm excited to try. I just threw in an extra calendula plant plants here. And then I'm going to fill out this space with something, not sure yet. Over here, I threw in some more tomatoes. I'm actually gonna throw in potentially another row right here because um, I have way too many plants. But I'm going to do the Florida weave for the first time with these guys to kind of string them up and trellis them up. Um, but they're looking really, really good. I'm quite happy. And then over here, we have some brassicas. I'm not really sure how they're gonna do. We'll see. It's a we'll see kind of thing with uh, most of the brassicas at this point. As it got hot so, so quickly, it is difficult to grow brassicas in the heat. Um, and they really do prefer colder weather. And I did kind of think that we were gonna get a little bit more cooler weather. Mm -hmm but uh, the heat came early. <laughs> so it'll be nice to eventually extend this in ground garden back and maybe add a couple more beds. I've been thinking for the raised bed garden this way, just to kind of tie in this whole space, but I really do enjoy in ground gardening. Um, and the stuff that I do grow in ground is no, no fuss, no muss kind of thing. Like I don't have to wor really worry about it. So I would really like to expand my potato patch next year and do garlic this fall and all those things. Now we're over here by the greenhouse. Say hi to the chickens. So the greenhouse is going to be very hot and I should open up this door because I will forget but the greenhouse is currently at 40 celsius which is 100 fahrenheit and these peppers do need a drink but everything's looking really good like everything looks really healthy but we're definitely going to open up this door get some airflow in Yeah, definitely needed to roll up that door. The windows are open, but it is very, very hot in here. And I don't want the, I know the peppers will really enjoy the heat, but hopefully it's not too hot. Oh, and we put this little paper stone here and I actually really like it. It kind of ties in the place a little bit. So just over here, don't mind the mess. Um, we have my green stalk filled with strawberry plants. 
We have some strawberries coming. The chicken sink, I have snacks for them. Sorry guys. But they have gotten so, so big. Right? Are you hot? Yeah, I bet you're hot. It's 30 degrees outside. Oh, your poor things. Oh, everyone's here now. Hello. But yeah, I secured a little roost in there. They have their automatic chicken door now, which looks so, so good. And I'm really happy with it. They got their grit. They have a lot of water. Um, and they have some kitchen scraps from last night, which look really good. And yeah, they're gonna come outside soon. Just to kind of graze out here and enjoy. But it's good that they have access to all so much shade in here. Especially on a super hot day like today. Um, here in Canada, like 30, 35 is about as hot as it will get, but it does go higher with the humidity. And we're not used to that. And the animals aren't either. Sure, we will get used to it, but these chickens for now at least have a lot of shade under here. And they're really enjoying their life. So I'm happy. We were over there and there, and now we're gonna head over back this way to the perennial garden. All right, so this is how the perennial garden is looking now. We have some bleeding hearts growing here and here. They look really healthy. There's a beautiful hollyhocks, some black-eyed Susans, and a primrose, which will look really pretty here. We have one swing up. We have to put up the other swing because we had to take them down because there's a big storm. And then this area is kind of scattered with a lot of perennial flowers, hostas, beautiful rose, some echinacea, some columbine. And then we finally got in our asparagus patch, which I'm so, so happy about. It is looking so, so good. But yeah, the asparagus is growing so well back there. The rhubarb is humongous. Like, very healthy patch, really likes it there. And the herb beds that we did are doing really well. Oregano, the sage looks good. I stuck in some tarragon here, which looks really good. And the thyme. But these flowers are so lovely. And the asparagus is doing really well, so I'm happy. But this will be a beautiful asparagus patch this year. And then some perennial flowers that will look super nice here. The lemon balm is doing well. Every time I come in here, I just make it a point to break some off and and just enjoy the fresh lemon scent smell. The walking onions look good. Some chives, some lavender. Lavender doesn't like it here, but it's okay. Um, got some irises and some daylilies. Got some more strawberries in this bed, along with some weeds. <laughs> this is my papa's patio set, so needs a little bit of a clean. June bearing strawberries are looking really good. I'm super impressed. Very happy. And then I believe I forgot to include this in our last garden tour, but I have like a berry wall here. Um, different varieties of berries. So here to start us off, we got some elderberry. I picked these guys up on clearance and they're doing really well. Um, I put it in a huckleberry. That's an annual, but I'm hoping it does well here. Got some blueberries, 
some more blueberries some more blueberries these guys got shocked super bad from hamilton um so we'll see if they come back next year um, fingers crossed we got some raspberries these guys surprisingly are fruiting um yeah they look really good so hopefully we get some raspberries and then one of these is a black raspberry but there's a baby one there i believe this one is the red currant and then this is the blackberry at the end here Ooh, looks like we'll get a couple blackberries and then there's a huge patch here of wild raspberries which i'm excited for um i didn't plant them obviously i didn't plant them but i am so so grateful for them i actually forgot to show you guys one thing up by the raised bed garden is we started an orchard so we really decided to really jam pack everything that was a perennial that would take a couple years to actually fruit um, into the ground as quickly as possible so i put the orchard close ish to the raised bed garden and there's lots of room to expand with more fruits if we want to but yeah let me show you what we got so we put our orchard here over by the road and we have a couple different apple trees so we have a macintosh which i really enjoy Ooh, that's a gross buggy i'd like to hand pick um any pests off these guys because i'm trying not to do any um pesticides but they did get hit really hard with tent caterpillars nope you can't eat my apple tree nope okay step sorry some things are good for the ecosystem and some things are not good for my orchard. This one really bounced back after getting um, hit pretty hard with the tent caterpillars as well. That one still needs quite a bit of work. But this one at least has grown an inch since I started pulling them off. And they lo it looks really good. I think it needs to be fertilized, honestly. But um, it's looking, this one's looking good as well. There's another new growth there and there, which I'm happy about. The leaves are starting to open back up, which is what you want. This is another apple tree. So there's two different varieties here, and then we'll add more varieties as we go. And then there's two different varieties of cherries here. So this is a Stella cherry tree, which will be really nice. This one just started to bounce back. But this one's really liking its life here. Um, it's looking really good. This one we brought from Hamilton, so it looks really good. I'm happy about it. Move the sprinkler to water our pumpkin patch. Alright, so that's it for today's garden tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.